and counting. We've got the flight crew departing the operations and checkout building. And this is Commander Brian O'Connor leading the crew out. Mission Specialist Timur Jernigan, Ray Seddon, Jim Bajan, Sid Gutierrez, Mary Hughes Bufford, and Drew Gaffney. T minus 15 seconds. T minus 10, 9. We have a go for engine start. 6, 3, Ignition and liftoff of Columbia in the first dedicated medical research flight. Full program, Houston. Roger roll, Columbia. many pounds like let's say the do you weigh up there you don't weigh anything not at all well no because there's you're actually in free fall you're not really weightless but it's like you're falling but you never you're going fast enough that you never get any closer to the earth because the earth is curving away as you fall yeah so it's like you're constantly falling so you don't feel as if you weigh anything so is it zero gravity or why well, do they call it microgravity well, they, it's a very fine point probably yeah. past the point in the interview i mean it would be like a a high school or college or physics, mm. you know, dissertation on this, but it, it's in the vehicle because they're not, you're not at the center of mass of the vehicle. You're you, you aren't totally in free fall. You're slightly less than that, micro, millionths of a g. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's it's basically that. But it, I mean, there's gravity, but it's unopposed. It's like if you jump off a building while you're falling, you don't feel like you weigh anything, mm. right? It's just that you hit the ground uh, pretty I, soon. It never but happened to me. I hope it doesn't try, happen. If you try it, in the few seconds you have, you say, oh, this is like, sort of like being in space. Yeah. But <laughs> oh, is it like uh, what you feel like when or you're a roller coaster uh, going uh, on top of the Yeah, or a, or a parachute. Uh, sort of, yeah. I mean, the difference jump. is when you parachute jump, eventually you stop accelerating because the wind resistance is against you and you stop accelerating. Mm -hmm. Whereas with weightless, there's no wind blast, so it's just, they just fall, so it feels like nothing. Yeah. It doesn't feel like anything. Mm -hmm. feeling, being weightless feels like nothing. It's no big deal. Wow. Very pleasant. Ah, it'll be fun to uh, to uh, have that experience one day. Oh, it's it's, it's, no, it's an interesting experience, but it, you get used to it very. It's it's like what is the absence of anything? It's like if I tell you you can't feel the shoes on your foot. What is not realizing you have a shoe on your foot feel like? It doesn't feel like anything. You don't know there's anything on your foot, mm. and that's what it's like. Mm. One of the advantages to working in space is the short drive time between uh, your work and your home. Here you see it's about 15 to 20 seconds to get from the space lab uh, back to the orbiter. This is uh, Jim and uh, Tammy uh, transiting the uh, tunnel. Here you get to see the first view of the first uh, working laboratory in space dedicated to the life sciences. You'll see the experiment hardware in racks along the side walls. We have overhead stowage containers and several pieces of equipment down the center aisle. This is Jim uh, performing an exercise test. You can see him breathing on a bag. That system with a gas analyzer allowed us to measure how much the body consumed in terms of oxygen, how much carbon dioxide it produced, and how exercise was affected during zero G. One of the other core experiments we had was the pulmonary function test experiment. And that was uh, sponsored by the University of California at San Diego. And what we're measuring here is differences in the way the lungs function in weightlessness and how gases uh, exchanged uh, in weightlessness versus on 1G here on Earth. Both rats and human beings lose both bone and muscle during space flight. And during our flight, we took many samples of blood in order to test the changes in the hormones in, in our blood systems during flight. And we believe that that perhaps is part of the reason we're losing the bone and muscle during flight and that was a nice exchange of tubes. 
Um, it took uh, at least two uh, to three of us to do the blood draws because it was complicated. Somebody said that when you went into space, you ha you took the Armenian flag with you. That's uh, remember I asked you that before. I don't know if I did or not. I mean, somebody uh, asked, I don't even recall. It's been so long. Yeah. I don't remember. I mean, it's 12 years ago. I don't remember. Yeah. And some, uh, somebody said you said something like it could be a rumor. Oh, uh, oh somebody, somebody said, said uh, you said hello Armenia no, when you were not. Or, you did, did not. That is not okay. true. That, I can tell you that is not true. Okay, that, that is not true. That is not true. But the flag. Uh, you're not I'm not sure. sure I took the flag or not. I don't really remember. I, I, to, I mean, it's probably a matter of public record. If you look in the flight kit we flew, yeah, it might say that. Well, it, I don't know. You have to check. But then there are many flags uh, anyways, right? We always fly flags from many countries. So, so yeah, there. many countries. Yeah. So most it, probably the Armenian flag was there yeah, too. Yeah, you can ask public affairs guys. They probably could tell you that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe you'll take it next time. No, I don't think I'll be going again, but... <laughs> You're not going to be... Well, I'm not, I'm not in the astronaut office this time, so I probably won't be going again. Yeah. Here I am spinning Jim in the uh, rotating chair. Uh, we're testing his vestibular response in zero gravity. This uh, was sponsored by MIT. Um, it's much like going in a merry-go-round when you stop suddenly and throw your head down. We're testing to see how quickly we get rid of that opposite reversal spin that we feel. Okay. And I'm going to have to ask you about your dad and your Armenian heritage, and, uh, <laughs> and maybe talk to your uncle. Yeah, they, yeah. they would probably uh, they probably know more about that than I. The Armenian guess. heritage uh, things, but uh, you're proud to be an Armenian, of course, right? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> now can you say that in Armenian? Let's well, try this. <laughs> can you say that in Armenian? Habar jam vor hayam. All right, you got it right. Get your pipe out the guitar.